Hey guys, Big Bots are here, and I got Dead Space 3. Yay! And just gonna create a new game. Um, auto save, yay. Um, yeah, I did do a Dead Space 2 uh, funny moments and stuff, scary moments. But I was too scared of that game, and I didn't end up beating it, but. I got Dead Space 3 just because of the lols. Um, yeah, so. Um, seems a bit laggy. Might turn the settings down. Turn down the visuals. Let's go high. Yeah, except. This menu is pretty fucking cool. Like, look left and right. And... Oh, I wonder if he's like just gonna wake up and uh, no, like, we'll just continue from the menu. It will. Um. Let's just go normal. So I'm not put. Ooh. It all started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original Black Marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine, and their plan for us a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Marker disaster, Mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear. But we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The Marker copies were all buried hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clarke, that marker spoke to him and left him with a gift. A mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by Earthgo. His mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet where 200 years ago, someone, somehow, stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Ah, oh, yeah. So I'm guessing like the escape bit that was number two. Um, okay, well, we're gonna have a slow start. 
So many cutscenes. But the graphics in this look pretty goddamn good. Um, yeah, so with Dead Space 3, I want to try and go through the whole game. Do a playthrough. All best bits. Depends. Why would you take your helmet off, you dickhead? Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? I think he's from Texas. Tim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Get there! Follow the waypoint to thank you! I, I can't tell you anymore! Just get there! Do, do you hear me? You have to go there! What? Oh, it's lost! What? Dang it! I think you should put your helmet back on, dude. Oh yeah, um, just to get the setting right, it's like 2 a.m. Ooh, am I? Oh. Huh. Press and hold B. Uh. Oh. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, I was playing Dead Space 2 on the Xbox 360, but now I've turned to a PC. Um, I've had a PC for ages, but now I've... I think I'll make the full change of going to a PC only. But, never okay, know. Tim, you can do this. I have a feeling... On you. You're a soldier, right? I'm gonna die. <laughs> right. Not even Just a slight feeling I'm gonna die. Uh, what was I saying? Don't even know. Yeah, it's like 2 a.m. I'm tired. But, I know, I saw Best Fit that this was the best start, or the best time to play the game. Oh, for God's sake, about time. That looks pretty good, except for the gun. The gun looks pretty shitty. Oh no. Prologue. Ah, oh, hold. Shift? Oh, okay, hold shift. I have a feeling I'm gonna shoot my pants already. Finally, some ammunition. Reload. Oh, oh fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Found a way in. Good. You're looking for a cylinder. When the fuck? Half a meter long. Do you see it? Is it going? When the f oh fuck. Oh, fuck you. When the fuck do they use weapons? Oh, what the fuck? I'm so gonna die. Oh 
Oh my god. Why did I buy this game? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. So, who wants to buy a copy of Dead Space 3? What's this? I got it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh fuck, run. Where are you? Hey Doc, I'm heading for the cliff. But I got whatever this is. The codex! Run! Run! Run for us! Quick, go! Go! Oh my god! Fuck, this is intense. Oh fuck. Do I have to shoot shit? Oh my god! Fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, I'm dead. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, whoa. My bad. I have no idea what I was doing. I thought it was still fucking... Oh my god. Okay, died once already, so that's great. Whew, when you want to retire, the hair particle is pretty bad. Hmm. Uh, his knee. Yeah. Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control. And now, for the love of Earth, and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Five. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. Cool. Why? Deleting what? He deleted it. Well, this guy's... Oh, what? I'm so fucking confused. We bought that! Yeah, I should try it, isn't it? Fuck! Fuck your shit! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we were winning, and the boss was like, I'm gonna slide you. Oh, I knew what we were doing. Fuck you, cunt. Oh, fucking. Oh.